No mercy now. There's no more forgiveness. No running now. Cause you've made it my business. Etched in my mind. The sins of your past are slapping me. Well, tonight's all about showing no mercy, and we are live with the SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, this is WWE No Mercy. We are live from Buffalo, New York, ready to kick things off here with the Tag Team Championship match. I am your commentator, Dylan Tulin, and we are live on my YouTube channel. This is WWE No Mercy. We are kicking things off here tonight with the WWE Tag Team Championship match. This is an elimination style tables match as the king of the tables match. The Dudley Boys make their way to the ring, hopefully to capture their first tag titles mission versus Mo. But wait a minute here. Looks like the world's greatest tag team of Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Austin are attacking the Dudley Boys from behind. Of course, this is a no disqualification. They are allowed to do this. And this match is getting, it's, it's going right underway right now in this of course, there's an elimination style tables match, so they can go anywhere in the arena with this. And um, and it looks like Charlie Haas, where the hell is he going? Charlie Haas going backstage with Bubba Ray Dudley. It seems like the uh, it seems like Team the Angle had had a plan here tonight, and they are executing it. As Charlie Haas has that steel chair in the back. Oh my God, he went for a chair shot at Bubba Ray Dudley, but Bubba. Somehow just knocked it right out of his hand. Now Bubba's starting to fire back on Charlie Haas. But Charlie Haas with a headbutt. Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin know they are well aware that the Dudley boys are the king of the tables match. And they're going to have to try to pull something out of their ass here. Because this is not going to be an easy task for them to overcome. As Charlie Haas looking to put him through a table. But Bubba Ray Dudley fights out of it. And then Bubba now sending Charlie Haas into the hallway. As we take you guys back to ringside here. As Shelton Benjamin and Devon Dudley are going at it. Bane's match is starting off quick here on the No Mercy pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my WWE 2K18 Ruthless Aggression Area Universe mode, and this is a No Mercy pay-per-view. Of course, it is a SmackDown exclusive. And uh, Devon, oh, the big clothesline here. Taking out Shelton Benjamin. And Devon now, he's got him by the head. Looking to take him down to the ringside area. Looking to get this match started properly as we go backstage with Bubba Ray Dully with an uppercut. Taking out Charlie Haas. Now he's got that cart. Bubba's got that cart. What's he doing here? Oh my god! Bubba Ray Dully just took Charlie Haas out with that with that cart. And it seems like the plan to separate the Dudley boys and take him out has backfired because Bubba is just not only is he king of the tables match, he knows how to beat someone up. And a backstage brawl, and that's something that I guess Team Angle didn't really think about. Is Bubba now? What's he doing here? Oh, sends him face first into that wall. Bubba now, look at this. Oh my God, sends him face per face first into the wall again. And now Shelton Benjamin has control over Devon Rainside. And of course, like I said, this is an elimination style tables match. So when one member of the team gets eliminated, then they have to eliminate the second one. As oh no, that's. That's the general manager, Stephanie McMahon's office. Uh, she can't be too happy that Bubba Ray Dudley's in there with Charlie Haas, but she obviously doesn't know it because Stephanie's not in there. She's not in her office. I wonder where she is. Of course, she's going to be making an announcement later tonight. That's Bubba Ray Dudley. What's he doing here? Is he looking, looking to eliminate Charlie Haas? Can he put him through the table? No, Charlie Haas fights out of it in the right hand. Charlie Haas is starting to fight back now. Kick to the side, and Charlie Haas sends Bubba into that into that wall and that desk now he's just teeing off a Bubba Dudley kick to the gut backbreaker drops Bubba down into a Russian leg sweep Charlie House has advantage has the advantage over Bubba Ray Dudley 
trying to keep up with the action as much as we possibly can. It's kind of hard when they're in two different places as once as Charlie House takes Bubba out with a steel chair. We go back to ringside as Diva now. He turns Shelton around, neck breaker, drops him down to the canvas. The referee seems to have uh, disappeared. Maybe he went to go see what's going on in the backstage area as Bubba, as Diva on a clothesline, sends Shelton Benjamin down to the canvas once again. So now the Dudley boys seem to have. Devon has control over Shelton, and just as I say that, Shelton Benjamin looked for German, but no, Devon fights out of it. So it seems like the, uh, Devon has control over Shelton, and Charlie Haas has control over Bubba Ray Dudley in the back, as we just saw he took him out with a steel chair shot. Of course, this is a lot of fast-paced action for an opening contest. Uh, no mercy. Goodness gracious, a flapjack. Down goes Shelton Benjamin face first into the canvas. Gonna try to get cameraman, try to cut to uh, back to the backstage area, but there's too much action going on in here. Shelton Benjamin gets out of the way. Shelton Benjamin looking to gain some momentum, looking to fire back here on Devon. He drops him down to the mat. Now we're gonna go backstage. It's Charlie Haas. Finally, finally, Charlie Haas and Bob Ray Dudley are getting out of general manager Stephanie McMahon's office. You can imagine that when she walks into her office, she's not gonna be too happy of what she, she's not gonna be happy with the scene. Because I can't to look too can't look too praise in there as uh, Bubba gets sent down and Charlie House could be looking to put him away, but we have to go back to ringside because Devon is getting a table. They are the king of the tables. And as you guys can see in the corner of the ring there, there is a broken table on that. That uh, you, it would lead you to think that one of these superstars got eliminated, but what happened was Shelton Benjamin had Devon up on a table and he went for a springboard, but uh, Devon Moved out of the way and Shelton Benjamin put him put himself through the table so he was not eliminated from the match because he put himself through that table as Diva now. Wait a minute. Char he's got Charlie Haas on that table. Charlie Haas, he's got to fight out of it or he's going to get eliminated. He's got him up. No, 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 no. No. Power bomb through the table. Charlie Haas has been eliminated. Bubba Dudley, it's now two on one. It's a two on one situation. Bubba just has to get down to ringside. He has to just make, it, make his way back to the arena. Charlie Haas has effectively been eliminated from this contest. And now it's time for him, if he can get up, he's going to have to go back to the locker room, go back to the showers, because he is out of this matchup. And now it is all on Shelton Benjamin to get the victory here for his team. As you guys can see, Bubba is making his way back to the arena, but he needs to hurry because it seems like Devon is in a little bit of trouble here. As Bubba making his way to the arena, just checking behind him to make sure Charlie Haas wasn't following him to the ring. And Bubba... Is making his way down the ramp. He's going to have to run because Devon's in trouble. Devon's in trouble. No, there goes Devon. Bubba couldn't get there on time. And now we are down to two. Bubba Ray Dudley could not get to Devon on time. And because of that, we are now down to Bubba Ray Dudley and Shelton Benjamin. It's now a one-on-one -on -one match. The two men that have been going at each other's throats since this rivalry has started. Since the but Dudleys became number one. Get that one for a chair shot, but Shelton Benjamin caught him. Shelton Benjamin caught him there. And look at this. What's he whispering something in his back was here and then he hits him right in the back of the head with that uppercut. And now Devon's gonna have to go back go to the back. Gonna get to walk by all that carnage caused by Bubba Ray Dudley and Charlie Haas. This match, hundred miles since the opening bell. As Bubba Dudley looking to fight back. Bubba do now. Could be looking to figure out what to do next. Of course, we have a great match card set up tonight. This is obviously just part one of the No Mercy pay-per-view. Bubba Ray Dudley now has Shelton Benjamin up on that turnbuckle. What's he looking for here? Oh my goodness, superplex on the table pieces. Right on the table pieces, and that can't feel too good on, that, on both Shelton Benjamin and Bubba Ray Dudley. And Bubba now could be looking for that table. Bubba Ray Dudley's looking to get that table, and he's got him. He's got that table. Just has to possibly bring it into the ring. I don't know, Bubba. He could have anything. He he could have anything in mind with that table. Bubba Ray Dudley, like I have said, the Dudley boys are king of the tables, and Bubba is usually the one putting people through tables. More than Devon, as Bubba power bomb. And Bubba Ray Dudley now looking to set up that table, looking to put this match away, looking to capture the WWE Tag Team Champions. Oh, just floored Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin's in trouble here. Shelton is in real trouble. Looking, 
Oh, look at this belly to belly go through the table. No. I thought he was going to put him through the table that time. Up over right, Dudley. Probably has a, something else in mind. Pick Shelton up. What's he looking for here? Oh, Shelton Benjamin's starting to fight back. Shelton's starting to fight, fight back. He's starting to rally German suplex. And if if Shelton Benjamin would have been able to turn... If, if Shelton, Shelton would have turned him before he went for that German, he would have been able to put this match away. But instead, he caught him with a super kick. And now Bubba Ray Dudley has been busted wide open. Bubba Ray has been lacerated. Bleeding from the head. And Shelton Benjamin now looking to put this match away. Looking to retain the tag titles. Can he do it? He's looking to put him away. He's got him. No, oh, Bubba fights out. Bubba fought out of it. Oh, sidewalk slam through the table. No. Oh, no. Thought Bubba was about to put him through the table with that sidewalk slam, but I guess he has something else in mind, like I keep saying. Look at this. Sends him into the corner. Shelton is dazed. Went face first into that turnbuckle. Shelton is out of it. He's dazed. Can he Bubba Ray capitalize? No. Shelton starting to fight back. Elbows to the gut. Shelton starting to to rally here. Look at a put shot. Look at a put Bubba away. Bubba is so close to being put through that table. No, no. Bubba's fighting back. Bubba Ray Dudley is fighting back. He will be damned if he's gonna get put through a table here tonight. He wants those tag titles. The Dudley boys are hell bent on growing uh, on moving to the top of the tag team division, and he may do it here. Bubba Ray Dudley has him up. Oh no, oh no, powerbomb through the table, and the Dully Boys have captured the WWE Tag Team Championship. We have new tag champs here on No Mercy, and this, we're going to take a, take a look at the process of elimination. This was the first elimination, Charlie Haas got powerbomb through the table, and as Bubble was trying to make it to the ring, Shelton Benjamin with that exploder suplex put Devon through the table, and then it was down to two. It was down to two in this would be the final elimination. Puts him up on his shoulders. Bubba Ray Dudley. Powerbomb. And that would effectively eliminate the world's greatest tag team. And now because of that we have new tag team champions. The Dudley boys are successful here at No Mercy. And I can bet that this rivalry is far from over. Of course, Team Angle does get their rematch clause. I have to wonder, you have to wonder when they're going to cash those in because the next pay-per-view is Survivor Series. Maybe they'll cash them in there, maybe they'll cash them in on SmackDown. Well, we had to take a quick second to clear out the arena and get get uh, Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin out of the way, but we are now going into some singles action as uh, Molly Holly is making her way to the rain. We're going straight into the action here. And uh, Stephanie McMahon, general manager Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon wanted to give the women some exposure here at the No Mercy pay-per-view because of course Lita and Trish Stratus are in the middle of an intense rivalry over on Monday Night Raw, Raw over the Women's Championship. So that leaves, that leaves nothing for the women of SmackDown because there is no title on, uh, on Friday Night SmackDown. There is no women's title. So, that, so uh, Stephanie McMahon is just going to give two women from the back, any women that was in the backstage area that wanted to go one-on-one -on -one in a matchup here tonight. She's given them an opportunity to prove themselves, so whoever wins this match could possibly get a future championship opportunity, but we're going to have to see here as we await Molly Holly, Holly's opponent. Who's it going to be? I the lady to mess with. And that music can only mean one thing. It's the music that gets everyone popping, even your commentator, me. It's Victoria making her way to the ring, and Victoria could really... To really use the boost here and she has not yet been been seen in this universe mode much like molly holly but victoria like her music says she's not the lady to mess with and we're gonna have to see if she can back that up tonight we're gonna have to see if she can walk the walk she could talk the talk can she walk the walk here at no mercy and what a great way to debut at the no mercy pay-per-view that's that's big for both of these women and victoria versus molly holly and it's right now of course, we're going to see also a tag team match later on tonight between two up-and-coming tag teams. Going to see who could get a future shot at the tag titles, possibly, as uh, Victoria and Molly Holly. Molly Holly got caught with that neck breaker. I don't think she was expecting that from Victoria. Wait a minute. Is this, this is her standing moonsault? Victoria with a standing moonsault. She's looking to put her away early. She's looking to put her away. Oh, my God. She's got Molly Holly up. Goodness gracious, is this going to be it? Widow's Peak! I believe that is called the Widow's Peak. 
Victoria, no way, no way. Victoria did it. She put away Molly Holly. I don't believe it. Victoria has effectively put away Molly Holly. Look at that. What a victory for Victoria. What a, a major defeat from... What's this? Molly Holly gonna extend a hand? Wow, good sportsmanship shown by Molly Holly here. She was caught off guard, but she's still showing respect for Victoria. And what great sportsmanship shown by Molly Holly. Wait a minute! What the hell? What is wrong with you? Molly Holly just took out Victoria from behind. What is... What a sore loser. Molly Holly, a sore loser? Oh, come on. No, this is... You don't need to do this. This is ridiculous, Molly Holly. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's got her up. Power bomb. The Molly Holly bomb. Molly Holly, just... A sore loser taking out Victoria. Now she's gonna dump her on the outside of the ring. How sickening, how, how ridiculous. Look at this power bomb by Molly Holly. This is just... It's, uh, I, I was showing respect to Molly Holly, but I guess I was wrong there. Molly Holly is just a sore loser. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are enjoying the series and you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel already and you still want to stay in contact with me personally, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Tulin Dillon. Go ahead and follow me at Tulin Dillon, as it says on the screen there, and you can ask me any questions about YouTube, my life, or my universe mode. And we are back and we are being joined by the general manager of Friday Night Smackdown. It is... Stephanie McMahon and she is making her way to the ring because she has a couple of announcements here tonight at the No Mercy pay-per-view of course Stephanie McMahon has sort of made, made herself known for coming down to the ring mid shows and uh, making announcements and I guess tonight she is going to be talking about the Survivor Series pay-per-view because as you guys if you guys saw the Unforgiven pay-per-view a, a month back you wouldn't know that uh, Eric Bischoff made a challenge to Stephanie McMahon to put take three of her best and put them up against three of uh, Raw's best in an elimination style elimination chamber a, ta a six man tag elimination chamber match. As, as I guess that's the best the best word for it. But uh, I guess we're gonna get Stephanie McMahon's response to Eric Bischoff's challenge here tonight, and I wonder. If she's going to accept the challenge, I hope she does because I want to see a match like that and I think all these fans would love to see a match like that. But let's see what she has to say here. Oh, it looks like Stephanie found out about the Dudley boys using her office as a, as a ring. What does she mean, put her jobs on the line? Oh my god, Eric, uh, not Eric, Stephanie McMahon laid down an even bigger challenge to Eric Bischoff. She says, let's put our jobs on the line. Whoever, whichever brand loses a Survivor Series in the Elimination Chamber match, that brand's general manager has to resign. What an announcement by Stephanie McMahon. Will Eric Bischoff accept her challenge? We're going to have to find out in the coming weeks, but coming up next, it's the main event. A no Mercy Part 1 is a Cruiserweight Championship match. Gregory Holmes takes on Rey Mysterio in the main event of Part 1 of No Mercy. That match is up next. And here we go with the main event of No Mercy Part 1. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are enjoying this series so far, and if you guys are enjoying this episode so far, be sure to smash that like button. We are just getting started at the No Mercy pay-per-view. Of course, we still have all the big matches going on in Part 2. But Stephanie McMahon, general manager of SmackDown, Stephanie, she believes that the Cruiserweights can truly put on a main event match, and that's why she has given Gregory Helms and Rey Mysterio the main event of Part 1 of No Mercy. Gregory, uh, Stephanie McMahon has a lot of faith in the Cruiserweight division, and she's really pushing to give them some some air time. She's not going to put them on a kickoff show or anything like that. She's going to give them main event matches if she truly feels they deserve it. And based on some of the matches we've seen in the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament, especially by this man, Gregory Holmes, they certainly do deserve it. Gregory Holmes defeated Shannon Moore, 
Kid Cash. Yeah, Shannon, he defeated Shannon Moore and Kid Cash to get to this spot to, here tonight, and his opponent put on great matches as well to get to his spot. And because of that, these two are battling it out for the Cruiserweight Championship in the main event of No Mercy Part 1. Gregory Helms making his pay-per-view de debut, hasn't even debuted on SmackDown yet, and he is already being put on the pay-per-view card. But his opponent, however, he knows what it's like to be on, a, on at a pay-per-view. He knows what it's like to be in a big match situation. Rey Mysterio has been in plenty of big match situations. He was in a United States Championship tournament, which he obviously didn't. He didn't win, but he was a... He's a former number one contender to Brock Lesnar's Undisputed Championship. So, Rey Mysterio, if you ask me, does have the advantage in this match because he has pay-per-view time in. He has a pay-per-view time in. He has more matches in. Gregory Helms has had... This is his, this is Gregory Helms' fourth match, and he's on the pay-per-view. So, if you ask me, Rey Mysterio does have the advantage, and, of course, Rey also has the experience over Gregory Helms. Rey has been in the business for a very long time, not necessarily WWE. He was in WCW and ECW before he made the jump to the WWE, but he was a big star over on the ECW brand before he came here. And uh, Ray knows what it's like to be in these big match situations. He's been in plenty of them throughout his career. And tonight he looks to capture the Cruiserweight Championship. That's what it's all about here tonight. It's about the Cruiserweight title. These two men battling it out to see who can walk out of here. Cruiserweight Champion. Who do you got your money on? Do you think Gregory Helms will walk out with the title? Or do you think Rey Mysterio will capture his first title? Let me know down in the comment section below who you think is going to capture the Cruiserweight title. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. Gregory Helms is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rey Mysterio, the referee. Signals for the bell to get the main event of Part 1 underway. Rey Mysterio right out the gate with a Hurricane Rana. That's something that Gregory Helms is going to have to look out for. Rey Mysterio has a, has a quickness advantage. He doesn't have a size advantage, but he does have that quickness. And Rey Mysterio with a forearm to the abdomen. And Rey Mysterio able to get the early advantage here over Gregory Helms. I don't think Gregory Helms has ever faced someone like Rey Mysterio before. Got, goes behind the back with that maneuver. Ooh, wrenching on that arm of Gregory Helms. Oh, Gregory Helms, though. Look at this, Gregory Helms. This is the power advantage that I was talking about. Just sent Ray face first on the canvas. And these fans appreciating the cruiserweight division, as am I. The cruiserweight tournament has been crazy thus far. We get to see it culminate in the cruiserweight championship match. Ray Mysterio, look at this head centers takedown. It looked like he may have been looking to set the 6 1 9. But uh, Gregory Helms, he rolls to the outside of the ring. Look at it, catch Ray off guard, runs back in the ring. Ray Mysterio was ready though. Ray Mysterio, five minutes carry reversal. Look at this, Ray Mysterio up on the shoulders, turns him around with a Hurricane Rana. Sends Gregory Helms on his back once again. Ray Mysterio has the advantage here, standing moonsault, just like we saw in the last match between Victoria and Molly Holly. Oof. Gregory Holmes now. What's he doing here? Sends Ray off the ropes in an elbow. This planted Ray with that elbow right on the point of the nose. Cover. Ray kicks out though before the referee can get down for the count. Referee was not in position for that pinning predicament there. But either way, Gregory Holmes does have the advantage here and he goes to the middle rope. What's he looking for here? Ray. Up to his feet. Ooh, missile drop kick by Gregory Helms. Gregory Helms, a little bit of a high flyer himself. And now he's got that chin lock. He's got that rear chin lock locked in. Ray may have to tap here. I know Ray able to fight out of it. Ray able to fight out of it, but Gregory Helms still going to keep the pressure on. Ooh, elbow drop. Elbow right to the face. Of course, we still have. The United States Championship match in part two. We got AJ Styles taking on John Cena in the main event. It's a no holds barred match as Brock Lesnar defends the undisputed championship against the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle. But to open up part two of No Mercy, it's going to be. I'm not going to spoil who's going to be in the match, but um, we're going to be seeing two debut tag teams as Rey Mysterio 
Elbow shot right to the face. Ray, look at this. Rain post 619. The rain post 619. Ray may have him here. Ray may have him here, but he's not done yet. That rain post 619 out of nowhere, and he's looking for the 619 again. Off the ropes. Here he comes. Dialing it up. 619. Connecting. Cover. Cover him, Ray. Go for the cover, Ray. What are you doing? There you go. Come on. Come on, ref. He's got him. New Cruiserweight Champion. Can he do it? No. Gregory Helms kicked out at two. Have you ever seen a corner post 619 like that? I know how you haven't. And Ray Mysterio putting that work in with a springboard leg drop on Gregory Helms. I think Ray may be capturing that Cruiserweight Championship here tonight. But Gregory Helms able to put on stellar matches with Shannon Moore and Kid Cash. Maybe he could fight back here and get something going and pick up the victory and that may put him away super kick right to the button right on the button may have put Ray away but Gregory Helms not going for the cover gonna continue to wear down Ray Mysterio and that may be smart on Gregory Helms part maybe he knows that's gonna take more than one super kick to put him away but it may not be because Ray is firing back here look at this head scissors take down down goes Gregory Helms once again Maybe, maybe Gregory Helms should have uh, jumped at the chance to put Ray into the cover. Now Ray puts Gregory Helms into the cover. Hook of the leg. Does he have him here? No. Gregory Helms kicks out at two. Wants for a drop kick, Ray, though. Miscalculated. Gregory Helms able to move out of the way in a Hurricane Rana. Oh, and a leg drop. Spinning leg drop. Of course, Gregory Helms used to go by the name of the Hurricane. And uh, he just, he never went anywhere as the hurricane he didn't like the fact that he wasn't able to be himself so Gregory Holmes took time off came back and now he is being himself and it may be a good thing knee to the face of Rey Mysterio knee to that face knee to the face that's Gregory Holmes finisher can that put Rey Mysterio away cover he's got him here new cruiserweight champion and I thought I thought that I thought the referee's hand went down for the three that was a very very close two and Rey Mysterio though kicked out and he's not staying down Ray's refusing to give up that title means too much to him look at this sunset flip what a great way on the, for to start a road to success for Ray Mysterio by capturing a cruiserweight title Co cover here and Gregory Helms kicks out be a great start for Ray Ray's comeback story if he could capture the cruiserweight title then he can move up to the United States title and then possibly the world title but it's going to determine, it's going to be de de determined by his hard work, his determination, and his and just pure grit. And Rey Mysterio with that bulldog now getting the fans behind him, asking the fans to, to get on his side. And you already know they already are. There's Rey Mysterio now. Could be looking to put him away, but no. Rey Mysterio took too long. And Gregory Helms able to take advantage. Able to gain control back in this match. Look at this. The shades of the hurricane. Drops him down to the canvas. He still goes back to those finishers that he used when he was at the Hurricane. But Gregory Helms didn't decide decide not to go for the pin off that. And that may that may cost him here. But not right now. It's not. Right now it's not going to cost him. Gregory Helms now looking to put him away again. Looking for the finisher once again. Knee to the face. Ray is at, Ray's out. There's no way he's kicking out. We have a new... Cruiserweight champion Gregory Helms is your champion here. No! Ray kicked out again. And Gregory Helms is frustrated. Absolutely frustrated. Gregory Helms not knowing what to do here. Now, last act of desperation, springboard elbow. Could go for the pin off from that, but I guess Gregory Helms decided not to. Maybe he wants to finish it with a signature maneuver. But Ray Mysterio firing back here. Look at this. Ray. To the outside, springboard, frog splash, shades of Eddie Guerrero, but he didn't go for the frog splash off the turnbuckle, he went for the frog splash off the springboard, that could put Gregory Helms away here, he's got him, no, and now it's Rey Mysterio who's getting frustrated with the referee, the referee's just doing his job, but Rey's getting frustrated in a body splash off that middle rope, both of these men are deserving of being cruiserweight champion but who's gonna walk out with the title here tonight and Mysterio now drops him down to the canvas trying to wear down Gregory Helms trying to 
trying to wear him down while he figures out what to do next. Ray has thrown everything in his arsenal at Gregory Helms, but Gregory Helms is still coming back, still fighting back. Oh, look at this. Looking for the Hurra Slam. Hurra Slam. Wait, Ro Ray rolled out. Ray rolled out of the way. He was looking for the Hurra Slam, but Ray reversed. And Ray could be looking to get back into this contest here. Sends him through. Look at this. Top rope. Sent on. Ray's starting to come back here. He's starting to rally with a crossbody. And Ray. Oh my god. Bulldog connecting. Planning. Gregory Helms face first into the canvas. And this may be the beginning of the end. Another Bulldog coming right up. Gregory Helms may very well be out of this contest here. Cover. He's got him here. New. No. No. I was just about to say new cruiserweight champion, but Gregory Helms kicked out. And right now, looking to finish him off, could be looking for a six, one, no! He, Gregory Helms reversed. Ray though, reversal, shot to the back of the head. What's he looking for here? Oh, down he goes. DDT. Ray just planted Gregory Helms. Now could he be looking to finish him off here. Sends him into the corner. Referee, get the hell out of the way. Sends him back to the other side. Went for a drop kick. Gregory Helms moved out of the way. Ray still, still trying to keep the pressure on him. And he does. Grabs him by the head. Shot with a knee. Oh. Not sure what that was, but Ray Mysterio once again with a, with a shot. Shot to the face with that knee. Gregory Helms, oh, look at this. Gregory Helms. Oh my god, look at this, plants him into the mat with a DDT. Gregory Helms is starting to rally here, and it seems like these fans are starting to get behind him. Gregory Helms looking to finish off Rey Mysterio. Knees to the face! Oh my god, that could put him away. That could put him away. Cover, he's got him. New Cruiserweight Champion, no. No, not yet. Not now. Gregory Helms is frustrated. And he's taking it out of Rey Mysterio because Rey keeps kicking out in a neck breaker. Gregory Helms. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. His feet are on the ropes. His feet are on the ropes. What the hell, ref? Pay attention. Rey can't believe it. But Rey doesn't care. Bulldog. Bulldog. Oh my god, Ray's got him. Ray may have him. Sent him into the corner. What the hell? Ray put him away. Over the top rope, elbow shot to the face. Ray Mysterio, 619 onto the corner post. Oh my god. Ray, go for the puck cover. Go for the cover, Ray. What are you doing? No, he's looking for another one. Ray Mysterio, 619 number two. Body splash coming up, Ray, go for the cover. Go for the cover now. No, Ray's not going for a cover, what's he doing? Sprainboard frog splash connecting. Ray's got him, Ray's got him. Cover, hook of the leg, he's got him here. Ray wins, Ray's the cruiserweight champion. What a back and forth contest. And in the end, it would be the, tri the, the double 619. And then the double splashes, the frog splash, would be the final touch. And that sweet combo by Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio able to pick up the victory here tonight. He is your new cruiserweight champion. What a way to kick off No Mercy. Rey, well deservingly, is your new cruiserweight champion. And that is it for part one of the No Mercy pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to stay tuned for part two.